Hey YouTube, I'm back with a mukbang. Guess what? It's morning time, so don't be rude. Say hey to Kitty. You know how she is, y'all. And Kitty don't be jumping off this table today. Today, for breakfast, I'm having a peanut butter sandwich. Okay? I'm going to do my mukbang for y'all before I get out this door. Let me do my thumbnail. Hold on. Okay. Now, I got what they call a choke sandwich. We'll talk about it in a minute. Let me say my prayers and bless this food. God bless this peanut butter sandwich that I'm about to eat. I'm hungry and I'm about to tear it up. So, I got what you call a choke sandwich, y'all. And it's honey peanut butter. It's the creamy kind. I don't like crunchy peanut butter, but I got the creamy with honey in it. Peter Pan. Now, I got some jelly. Don't get it twisted. I just don't like jelly on my sandwich. I used to eat it like that when I was a girl, but as an adult, I eat the choke sandwich, okay? Got Mr. Mace 2 0. I've got to give him a straw to eat with. Baby, move that over there. And Kitty, you better not jump off this table. I'm not playing with you. So, y'all, I was challenged by um, Stephanie 50 Climbing to do the uh, pepper challenge, and I got through it. I ate peppers for 15 minutes, but I looked back. I think she said um, 10 minutes, but I did 15, so I did good, okay? Mm. I wish I could have put some um, cream cheese on it and see how that tastes. I love this peanut butter with honey in it. Comment below, let me know if you had it. I'll go to work in a little while. I've got some water with the choke sandwich. Woo, baby. It's true, a choke sandwich, y'all. At least when you have the gel on it. You know what I'm saying? It kind of take away from it. Choking you so much. <sighs> I can't wait for Christmas. Christmas Eve, I'm also going to do breakfast. Me and my kids will do a breakfast mukbang. And I have to work that morning on Christmas Day, double the pay. Let me lean in so you know I'm going to be there. Oh, okay. And after that, I'm going to have a seafood bar mukbang. I'm ready. Who going to complain about going to get extra money? Not me. Baby, I'm going to be up in there. Mm -mm. It smells but good, y'all. Honey, I don't know who told them to add honey. It's the best. I already like peanut butter. But I don't even buy the regular kind no more because I, I like the one with honey in it. It's the only one I buy. And my children, they like the one with honey in it. They eat the crunchy peanut butter, so... I had a smooth and they had a crunch. Mm. Gotta drink some more water, y'all. Choke sandwich. So I challenged my friend Tony that lives in Florida. Life with Tony. I challenged her to the um, pepper, do the pepper challenge. Baby, she was laughing so hard. She was like, how this finna work? I don't know, girl. I got through it. Just try it. Okay? Mm. She said she gonna try it, girl. Mm-mm-mm.
So I went on my, one of my best friend's house last night and hung out with her. And we watched a movie. I think it was made in Hollywood. Oh, no. It was about Hollywood and back in the day. I guess how they used to do things back then. It was pretty cool. I get a five, I guess. The water helped push it on down, y'all. I'm waiting on my mug to come. I ordered for tea time too, so with juice, I ordered me a mug for when I'm drinking and sipping my tea. I can have my mug, because sometimes I may not want hot tea, I might just want tea, okay? I like them Arizona teas. <clears throat> the lemon tea, the lemon tea, so I have that cup and I'm just gonna have that kind. Mm-mm-mm. This is y'all. Choke sandwich, baby. Yes. Ooh, I don't want to drunk up my water, y'all. Mm. I don't need to be losing no water. I got but a little bit. Got more choke sandwich going on. Y'all, I'm excited about 2020 because I'm gonna be getting outside of Atlanta doing some things, and I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to my birthday. I'm having a birthday party. Um, my birthday is January 27th. My party is going to be on February 1st, that weekend. Baby, it's going to be lit, lit, okay? Stay tuned. Don't stay in tigs, though. It's going to be lit, YouTube style. Just remember I said that, okay? Mm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a little more water. I'm going to take this down, down to the head, baby. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then that's some good cold H two O. I went to my doctor appointment the other day. He told me I'm a little anemia. Evidently, it's not that bad because he didn't put me on any uh, iron pills. But I got to figure out. I guess I need to look and see what I need to do to um, get it back up to standards so he won't be trying to put no mess when I go back, okay? Sir, calm down with all that. Uh, I ain't without it taking all this medicine. I'm trying to get out this metformin pill, okay? I um, was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Um, I guess it's been like three years now. I was so scared. I don't know, like... I didn't know much about diabetes. I just know when I was young, you hear your parents say, girl, stop eating all that sugar. You're going to have sugar diabetes. What? I knew, I didn't know anything about it. So just from hearing people say that when I was growing up, I'm thinking, okay, if I stop eating candy and drinking sodas, you know what I'm saying, I can get it right. 
But when my doctor told me I was borderline um, diabetes, he didn't give me the tools to work with it before he tried to throw me on the medicine. So when I went back, I'm thinking, I done took the sodas and the candy out. I'm about to be good. I went back. It was higher than it was last time. So they put me on the medicine. They told me I was going to be sick. It was going to make me sick, and I was going to have to take it anyway. That medicine made me so sick, I literally was crying. I was so sick and weak. And he was like, you can't not take it. Sir, let me tell you something. What I did was I broke the pill in half. It was 500 milligrams. I broke it in half. I would take a half in the morning and a half in the afternoon. But just um, doing my research, not knowing rice turned to sugar, um, bread, all that. So, like, I just had the wheat bread, but still, I don't eat bread like that. You know what I'm saying? If if I do, it's very limited. I don't eat bread like that. But white bread, um, rice, potatoes, like white potatoes, all this stuff turned to sugar. And I didn't know. I'm just eating all this because I'm thinking sugar diabetes, you take the sodas out, you take the candy out, you know, cakes and pies and all that out, and I'm good. So I was still learning. And that's when I um, went on the keto diet. And um, when I got on the keto diet about, about a year ago, um, I lost about about 20 to 30 pounds. And even though I haven't really lost a lot of more weight, it's because I haven't been trying. Like, I haven't been working out, watching how I eat, even though I don't really eat that much. I'm supposed to eat more than I do. Um, like, most of the time, especially when I'm doing my mukbang, I probably eat one time that day. So, in 2020, I just want to get better with the way I eat and start back working out. I'm not going to um, do the keto diet, I don't think, because you're limited to what you can do. Um, and me being a mukbanger, I need to be able to try different things. Now, I ain't going to eat no pork or no beef now. I haven't eaten that since the early 90s. I ain't going back on that. But... You know, it's certain things I want to try. Like, I want to go to the farmer's market, and I want to look for different stuff to try to eat that I've never stepped outside my box and tried to eat. So, I'm excited about my journey in 2020, but I got to incorporate me doing some yoga, because I like yoga. I like to do um, zoo, uh, Zuma. I like to do Zuma, and I walk this lady on YouTube her name is Walking with Leslie. I like to walk with her for, um, I think it's 45 minutes. And I like, I had started running. I want to get back to running. And I love dancing, so I want to start back going dancing. So even though I work, I still got to have a life outside of work. All I do is work and come home, get me a bath, lay down, get on YouTube, try to, you know, network and learn everybody's pages and all that kind of stuff. But I got to get back to me. And what I like doing, I like dancing. So I like to go out dancing. I want to learn how to step. I want to get back to moving, like just working out and doing what I usually do. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that and me traveling, doing mukbangs and going to different cities, meeting different people, meeting different mukbangers and just living. It's time to have fun. Like, I don't watch TV a lot, especially the news. It's just, it's depressing. All they talk about is bad stuff, you know, that's happening, which that's what the news is for. But I limit my time with watching the news. I watched it um, when I was off. Did I watch it yesterday? Yeah. I watched the news yesterday, and I watched um, the Wendy Williams show, and I watched The Real, and I turned the TV back off. I watched the news one time, and that's enough for me. Y'all going to talk about the same thing at 5 o'clock, then at 10 o'clock, then at 11 o'clock. No, I'm good. So... Anything else, you know, people tell me, um, did you see this on the news? And I'm like, no, girl, what happened? So I find out like that, you know what I'm saying? But to just sit and watch it like I used to, mm -mm, I'm in a different space. And I'm just trying to um, have a positive space going into 2020 because I love positivity. If you're negative, get over there, baby. Go that way. To the left, that way. Okay? Okay. So I'm good with that. So, positive, positive, positive. Um, I'm going to be starting getting back out. I used to get out and promote myself. And 
Since I've been doing mukbang, I haven't really did that. But I'm about to start getting out, going to these different events. I'm going to get on Eventbrite, see what people got going on, go up in there with my mukbang shirt on. You know what I'm saying? And get me some more followers. Anyways, you guys, I'm about to get out of here because I got to work today. I'm about to relax a little bit and luxuriate. Did I make that up? Luxuriate. <laughs> about to chill out. So it's time for me to go to work, okay? So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Holler at your girl. I talk back to you now. Holler at me. Hit that notification button so you know when I upload. Hit the like button, too. Let me know you liked it, okay? See you later.